Hi there, today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Nokia 8110. Um, this is probably the most commonly known uh, KaiOS feature phone in the uh, Western world. Uh, this isn't really going to be a review or anything. Um, I have to open it, obviously, so I just thought I would re uh, record it. Most of these videos are actually going to be about KaiOS itself um, and trying to give a little bit more information about it. So here is the uh, Nokia. Uh, 8110. This is actually a remake of a, of a classic uh, Nokia phone uh, that used to be in the Matrix movies. Um, so it has this uh, kind of banana shape. Uh, it's actually, the entire phone is curved um, and it has a slide out keypad uh, like so. It's a little, uh, that's a pretty nice uh, click actually. It d definitely feels very classic. Um, but the phone actually uh, feels pretty sturdy as well. Um, it's certainly not a cheap feeling device in my opinion. Um, and you know, to be honest, for what it is, it's probably not actually cheap. But this costs about £45 right now. I be believe it launched for about 80 Um I think the 80 is uh, kind of ridiculous um, for something like this, but uh, 45 actually isn't bad for the, for the perceived quality here. Um, so let's go ahead and... Uh, switch this on, I suppose. Oh, I guess this is supposed to be an unboxing, so uh, I will not get ahead of myself. Um, let me move this stuff out of the way. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to get this other box off here. Oh, here we go, it just opens right up. So in the box, uh, some earphones, I presume. Uh, those are awful, they look right out of uh, 2005. Uh, you're, uh, Battery. So that's interesting, actually. Removable battery is uh, completely unknown uh, as far as, uh, or sorry, unseen as far as smartphones go these days. Um, so I'm actually really interested to see um, a new phone with a removable battery. Uh, and then there's a quick start guide in here. Um, sorry, I uh, put that on top of the phone. Yeah, so pretty simple box. You get the phone, uh, battery, earphones, and plug. Um, yeah, so I'm super interested about that. Uh, I think that's a really cool move to uh, put a removable battery. Um, obviously, this isn't the same form factor as a smartphone, so it, uh, it probably has a little more room than a smartphone, a little more uh, kind of um, uh, kind of room for design. Uh, and I think a removable battery is a great job. Um, sorry, a great idea. It looks pretty small. Uh, I'm not actually sure what it is. Um, it doesn't say on the box uh, what the battery is. I presume it's uh, fairly small. Uh, 1500 milliamp hours. Ah, uh, that's okay. Um, but presumably on a uh, KaiOS phone, uh, there's not that much going on, so that battery should last a long time. If you saw that amount on a smartphone, it would be an immediate no. Um, but here it's not so bad. Let me just take a look at the instructions here really quick. Um, okay, cool. So it looks, uh, looks pretty simple here. I'm sorry, this isn't the most professional uh, unboxing you've ever seen, um, but I'm not trying to be professional here. So, Like I said, most of my uh, videos are going to be about KaiOS itself. Okay, I cannot get this open. Let me uh, double check the instructions. Okay, so I got it open. Uh, that was actually really stiff. As you can see, it just clips off. Um, so uh, we have SIM card and micro SD card slot. Uh, it only accepts up to 32 gigabytes uh, of uh, an SD card, which is a real shame. Uh, although to be honest, you're probably not gonna be putting that much on here. Um, one thing to remember with this, this is not a smartphone. Um, this isn't intended to be a smartphone. It's not intended to be used like a smartphone. Um, so. You know, to be honest, you have to cater your expectations. I'm not expecting it to be fast. I'm not expecting it to blow me away. Um, but KaiOS is an interesting concept, uh, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a, uh, in a later video. So I'm going to go ahead and slot the battery in, simple enough. I'm not going to do a sim uh, right now, because I don't think I need to to uh, just get it powered on. So let's take a look. Powered by KaiOS there. Pretty cool. So while this boots up, KaiOS is a 
Linux-based operating system designed for uh, basically feature phones in the, in the developing world. So whereas this Nokia is you know about forty-five pounds uh, here in the UK, you can get cheap, very very cheap KaiOS phones in uh, you know Eastern countries, Africa, um, Brazil, places like that. And what this means is that hundreds of millions of people who have never been able to afford an internet connected phone. Sorry, I didn't expect that sound. So yeah, uh, mil hundreds of millions of people who have never been able to afford an internet connected phone uh, are now able to get some semblance of smart features on a smaller, cheaper feature phone. So you know, Nokia's offering here in the West is is a bit, um, uh, how to describe it? it it's not its intended market. Uh, smartphone users are not its intended uh, crowd. So uh, that's basically uh, uh, what this is for. Just realized the cover wasn't on. Um, you know, this is this whole system is for the developing world. Um, so that's why we cater our expectations in terms of performance. Um, so let's uh, take a look here. And yes, it does feel very nostalgic um, to use a T9. You know, actually, right off the bat, I'm going to say this feels a lot higher quality uh, than I imagined it would. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, do English GB. Plus views data over the network. OK, that's fine. So I am going to choose my network here. I'm going to enter the password, or I'm going to try to, uh, but I'm going to do that off screen. I'm actually not sure I entered that correctly. Oh, I did. OK, great. So uh, that was really fast, actually. Um, Right off the bat, um, T9 is really intuitive. Uh, I feel like I can use it just right off the bat. Like, I remember it, it's familiar, um, and it's also not that bad. Uh, so anti-theft, um, so remote lock and stuff. Uh, OK, so we do have uh, terms and conditions to accept here, as usual. Um, so one of, in fact, I'll go into that one a bit of a later, uh, a later video. Um, so now we're on the home screen. Um, let's take a quick look around. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty uh, pretty much what you remember from older phones, but it looks a lot higher quality than I expected it to. Like, this is this is the first time I've ever actually used KaiOS. Um, and this is a lot more smooth and intuitive than I thought it would be. Um, like I said, I'm not really into reviewing the handsets that much. That's not what I'm here for. But I'm going to do a quick rundown of this really quick. Um, so the screen comes on and off with the slider, which is really nice. I imagine you're going to get a phone call and you're going to clip this open and you're going to put it up to your ear. Um, this shape will automatically uh, kind of uh, match your face, which is really, really nice. Um, I really like it. So. Um, the screen resolution is 240 pixels by 320, which is minuscule, but at this size, it looks very detailed. It's very nice. Um, so here's a call log, for example. Um, and no matter what anybody says, it feels very nice to actually use uh, a keypad. So let's see. Yeah, this is all pretty much what I expect, to be honest. There's nothing uh, unusual about this so far. Um, what's the store? snake camera um let's, i'm sure the camera is horrific let's see uh okay so camera would like to know your location so this is fine um this is actually for geotagging so when you take a picture it can tell you where it's taken i'm gonna deny that uh, left and right just switch between photo and video i didn't even know it did video um yeah i mean it looks awful but again this phone isn't for photographers. This is for like snapping a license plate or, uh, you know, uh, just snapping like a receipt or just something small that you need to uh, remember later, that kind of thing. Video mode. Um, we've got some options here. Yeah, you know, there's actually a lot more here than I thought there'd be, you know, like grid lines and stuff. Well, it's really cool. Really cool, actually. Um, so here's the big thing. Uh, again, I'm not going to necessarily be reviewing uh, a lot of Kiowa stuff in this video. This is more about the phone, but you can see there are actually some apps here. So Google, um, Google Maps, an email, FM radio. Um, there's a Google Assistant. Um, so Google Assistant is the big thing here. 
because uh, if if typing on KaiOS on sorry on like a T9 is too difficult, um, I am gonna accept this, although I don't like it to. Uh, yeah, we'll just allow everything for now. Um, you know, if it's too difficult to do this stuff, uh, you can just open up Google Assistant. What time is it? Uh, so that was ridiculously fast. <laughs> that was insanely fast compared to what I thought it would be like. Um, let's think, uh, what's, what's something you always ask Google? Tell me a joke. Okay, um, so the first thing I notice is the volume is very quiet. So here we go, volume. Turn all the way up here. Let's try another uh, Google Assistant. So you can hold down this home button to open it immediately. So that's actually really nice. This makes the phone immediately much more useful. Obviously, um, Google integration is another topic to discuss because it almost goes against what this is for, but the fact that it's here for usability is amazing. Um, so let's see, uh, I guess we can do another joke. Tell me a joke. What do you call a panda with no teeth? A gummy bear. That's kind of disturbing. But yeah, so this is actually really cool. Um, this is much more useful immediately uh, than I would imagine uh, right off the bat. Finally, let's take a quick look at the uh, web browser, uh, which we've actually been in already. Um, Wikipedia, that's a great example. So it's really fast. Like for what you would expect from something like this, it's fast. The problem is whether it's actually usable or not. Um, so right off the bat, th th this is this is my area here. My area is uh, if 100 million people now have access to the web, we need to make sure the web works for them. Um, so let's go in here. I'm going to type a little bit. We'll go ahead and do Sonic. Um, yeah, so as you can see, like, it just doesn't really work. And so this is nothing to do with KaiOS. Um, this is uh, entirely to do with the state of the internet right now, and that's what I'm going to be doing videos on. So I went to Wikipedia. It's one of the recommended sites. Um, but right off the bat, there's a lot out of alignment. There's a lot that doesn't quite work properly. Um, so yeah, this is okay. This is okay. Um, but as you can see, like there's some horizontal scroll, uh, which automatically is kind of unintuitive and ugly. Um, again, not the fault of KaiOS. And actually, um, okay, so we can, there's a few, uh, a few shortcuts here. Oh, is that, uh, yeah, so you can get right into your messages. That's pretty cool. Um, now let me browse to a site uh, that I actually know is really good. This is uh, one of uh, my kind of inspirational uh, developers here. Let me just, uh, there we go. Um, I'm going to go to her website and I'm just going to show you what it looks like um, when a website uh, does work uh, for this, uh, this kind of setup. So like an, a slow, uh, small internet. Uh, I'm going to go to Wazoe. Let me work out symbols here. Sorry, simple. Okay. Sorry, dot. You gotta wait for that to go. All right, let's try this. Yeah, that's pretty slow. But again, this isn't smartphone spec. Um, you know, you're, you can't expect smartphone from this. So here's Zoe's website. So let's. Uh, Scroll down here. Oh, we've got a pop-up here. That's fine. So as you can see, um, let's see if we can get rid of this. Uh... Okay, you get this kind of mouse cursor, which is a little odd. 
that's actually quite unintuitive in my opinion. I think it might do better to not have anything on the screen. Um, not going to have this movable cursor. Um, and instead to just kind of scroll until there's a link and then put a little hand there. But ignoring that bottom part, um, you can see that this like entirely fits within the page. There's no horizontal scroll. Um, so yeah, that's quite, uh, that, that's kind of the kind of internet that we're looking at um, with, uh, with KaiOS and with these kind of phones. Um, anyway, so that's, uh, that's about it. So this video went on a little longer than I thought it would. Um, that's uh, the Nokia AT110. It's uh, kind of cool, you know, as a, as a feature phone, um, not a smartphone, because this is not a smartphone, uh, it does work very, very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Um, and I'm excited to, to uh, give it more of a chance. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back soon with a video about uh, KaiOS itself and how it works on here.